after the premiere, someone was like, hey, do you want to meet uh, Elon? And I was like, who's that? And they said, Elon Musk. <laughs> And I just, if you don't know who Elon Musk is, Elon Musk just sounds like, like, a, like a crappy cologne or something. Like, yeah. I didn't know, I had no idea who he was. Mm -hmm. I was like, I guess this is just a fan who wants to meet me. <laughs> <laughs> so I went over to him and I was like, hey, nice to meet you, I'm Zach. Do you live in San Francisco? And, and he was like, yeah. And I was like, do you work in tech? And he was, he was like, yeah. And I was like, well, I said, well, I know it's a competitive industry, so I hope things go well for you. <laughs> Wow. I didn't know he was living. He's like literally colonizing outer space. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. God. You're I have to co comment your sense of humor. You have to tell me about Elon Musk and the tweets. But he, he, our love will never die, he said. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I would watch, listen to these radio talk shows, just tear the Tesla apart. And I go, here's a guy built an American car in America using American labor. And paying them a union way, I'm doing the whole bit. Why are you not rooting for it to be successful? Why do you wish it would fail? I don't quite understand that. And now it's happening, and you heard me the other day when I was talking about it. Let the rich guys do it. We have all these rich guys, they love rockets. They're all sending up Bezos and uh, Elon Musk and all of them. They're sending, they love the rocket business. Let them, just rent it to them for a lot of money and let them play. You know, they need our land. It's good to be in the real estate business. They need our land. Let them send up their rockets. Let them be the first to Mars, and we'll take all the credit, okay? And at the bottom, you can make it a lottery. And everyone puts in $10 to get a trip into space. And so the first person who does that will make great strides, be it Bezos or Virgin Galactic um, uh, or Elon Musk. I just know for myself, I'm not going to be the first on any of those voyages until like Elon Musk sends his mother. <laughs> if she comes back alive, then I might buy a ticket. <laughs> well, we will wait to see that. Very quickly, Neil, what, what do you make of Elon Musk's recent sort of quirky, quirky behavior? Can you smoke pot in I, space? It, <laughs> well, you need oxygen that you might prefer to breathe <laughs> rather than <laughs> using it to combust the marijuana. Uh, just, just a trade-off, I'm thinking, you know. Uh, but uh, <laughs> with his quirky behavior, you know, I went to college. I went to a highly, really selective college where people were really smart and really weird. And the weirdness became an element of their behavior that I just came to expect with people who had sort of singular abilities to think or to innovate <laughs> or to... Um, to to project what a future might be. So so I think we're giving him to yes he he needs to comply with the SEC. He's got a publicly traded so. company. He's got to obey. Otherwise, there's consequences. Beyond that, Neil. you know, let the man be a, be an individual. Um, Elon's absolutely fixated on going to Mars, and uh, and that is is almost I think is is his life mission and. Uh, uh, and it's, it's it's as wonderful as you know Kennedy was fixated on on the moon the, the moon the moon shot. Elon Musk, a scared man, really. I think we all want to believe you, but we also want to prevent a bad future. You've been reading too much Elon Musk and watching too many Hollywood movies. You know, it's okay for a CEO to have some stuff to him or her. Right? It's okay for them to have an attitude. You don't have to be vanilla all the time. That's his life. I mean, unlike other founders, not even CEOs, but unlike other, other founders who have their lives all built up into one company, he, he puts his heart out there and he puts his finances out there. You know, you can respect Elon Musk for his genius, but you have to really respect it because he puts every cent that he has on the line. This is not like, you know what, I got all my money out. Every one of these companies, he puts his own cash into, and he's gone to the limit. And so, look, it, it, it's his baby. He sees the vision. He has to ex execute. You can argue that he's going to need to raise cash or this and that, but look, his, everything he has is wrapped up in it, as far as I understand it. And I think for that reason, I'm, I'm not necessarily a buyer because I don't know the industry, but you've got to trust him. And I don't think the stuff on the conference call was anything at all. That, that was just Michigan. But I know that you are a great admirer of Elon Musk, the oh guy uh, behind yeah. Tesla and SpaceX. This is a guy. He's probably a genius. I mean, he, I, I truly think that he is, you know, probably the most important um, entrepreneur on the planet. And you had an encounter with him. Did you seek him out or did he seek you out? Um, God, I wish he seeked me out. No, I, uh, I, I seeked him out. Mm -hmm. I just, I, I actually just wanted to see if I could get kind of a look behind the, 
the velvet curtains of SpaceX. And mm -hmm. so I was uh, connected with his assistant, actually. And um, so she invited me down to SpaceX and she gave me this whole tour. And then at the end of the tour, um, she just brought me to Elon's cubicle. And he has a cubicle. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bigger than the other cubicles, but... Like how much, like it's on the open floor? Yeah, it's just, there's no, there's no door. Oh, so he's and not a after, genius then, for sure. <laughs> I mean, no, but his whole, his whole theory is if you have something to say, just say it. You know, I don't want a door, you know, to close, close you off. And I so, see. What if he's like shopping for a pair of shoes on Zappos and he doesn't want everyone to... I think he's okay he's with it. Yeah. He's all right. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's just such a a mad genius. I had no idea that I was going to meet with him, so I sat down with him and he was very engaged in what we were talking about, but you could tell that he was thinking about a thousand other things at once. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. It was so bizarre. <laughs> like, I knew he was listening, but also I knew he was thinking about so many other things. Huh. Are you, are you sure you didn't just imagine that? And he was just really like thinking about lunch or something? Or? Maybe, yeah. maybe. But what did he say to you and what did you say to him? I don't remember. <laughs> um, but honestly, after sitting down and talking to him, I, I realized that I'm, I'm now convinced that he's an alien. I really, d I mean, there's, what, what other answer is there? He, 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 well, he, he is an alien, right? He came, where's he from? I don't know. <laughs> no, he's from, and he's uh, uh, from uh, South Africa. Right, exactly. Yeah. So he's an alien. He's an yeah. alien to our country. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, if he was an alien, I don't think he'd pick the name Elon. Or maybe he would pick the name Elon because then when we found out ultimately that he is an alien, he'd be like, "I named myself Elon. Elon. Isn't that close to alien? How stupid are you people? How, yeah, I mean, it's pretty obvious. You think you if know? I was human, I'd be in a cubicle? I'm a billionaire." <laughs> I mean, I, after our meeting, I sent him a, a tweet saying, the world wants to know, uh, are you an alien? <laughs> and he responded saying, no, I'm not, but I used to be. <laughs> well, that makes no sense at all. Well, yeah. yeah. And I would love to talk to Elon Musk, so um, I'm sure that would be ridiculously fun. I would, I would love to find out. I'd like to ask him about his thought process. And also, I'm really curious about how in the world he manages to do multiple impossible things, because doing one impossible thing is impossible, but doing like five impossible things is the product of five impossibilities, and that just seems like hyper impossible, but he's managed it. You know, I mean, think about it. Think about what he did. He built an electric car, which is like hard, and then he built a rocket, and then he blasted the car into space on his rocket. Like that, that's not... That's not real. That doesn't happen. But it did happen, and he did it. And so, I would really, I would love to talk to him. I think that would be extremely, uh, extremely interesting. What do you think of Elon Musk's behavior as a CEO? Well, I think it has room for improvement. <laughs> now, he, he, uh, and he would say the same thing. You know, I mean, it's, uh, uh, it's just some people have. A talent for <laughs> interesting quotes and, and others others have a little bit more of a blocker up there that says this can get me in a problem and it, uh, but he's he's a remarkable guy but uh, uh, I don't see I just don't see the necessity to communicate you know I've never I, I think I've got seven tweets because a friend of mine signed me up for it and She's called me about a hundred times saying, can I tweet this or that? And I, I've said yes to her seven times, I guess, or something like that. I, I've never actually written one myself. I, I don't even know how to do it. Have you talked to Elon ever? Uh, he, he joined the Giving Pledge so I, uh, once or twice, but that's a lot of years ago. Uh, you know, it was seven or eight years ago. I, I'm not, I mean, he hasn't come to our annual gathering, so I haven't seen him for seven or eight years. When you look at all the pioneers in space today, you think of Jeff Bezos, you think of Richard Branson, um, Elon Musk. Yes. Who do you think is really leading the way forward? I think uh, SpaceX probably because of uh, uh, Elon coming from South Africa, uh, having uh, the competitive spirit to, uh, to make a good bit of money in PayPal mm -hmm. and then uh, put that into his dreams. Elon would like to uh, get involved in selling uh, launches to the Air Force, mm -hmm. uh, but he's being opposed some. Uh, 
he almost went broke. He had three failures. And one more, in his words, would have uh, uh, taken him out of the business of rocket launchers. He sort of succeeded on that one, pretty much. Uh, he uh, has a very good rocket and a very good price. I asked him if he wanted to uh, maybe lead efforts toward Mars by allowing people to use his rocket on their project to fly by of Mars mm -hmm. and then combining another company. Uh, I said, uh, I, I'm in touch with very wealthy people, or maybe in Dubai, Abu Dhabi, mm -hmm. and uh, perhaps we could uh, have some investment money. Mm -hmm. He said, no, we don't need any money. We'll do it ourselves. His spacecraft, the Dragon, uh, is capable yeah. uh, in a feasibility study of uh, landing on Mars in a different way than we've thought okay. we needed with big heat shields, big parachutes. Um, he, he has a method of doing that.